Hey everybody, it's me, Zach. This is Judy, and welcome back to our channel. Jingle bells, jingle bells, sing for me, baby, baby. Hey everybody, it's me, Zach, and welcome back. I'm so excited to see you. Obviously, I took a little bit of a break, which is was just one day. It was one day. I didn't post on Wednesday, and thank you all for understanding. The night before, Miss Judy Lou, who over here decided to wake me up multiple times so she could go outside and take a shit. Uh, cause she had like some abnormal poo-poos. <laughs> and so, uh, she's feeling fine. She's feeling better. She went back to feeling normal literally when I woke up in the morning. She just didn't want me to get sleep that particular night. And all of that is perfectly fine because today is Judy Lou Who's Gotcha Day. I feel like she doesn't even have any idea, but I got her on this day four years ago, and on December 16th, I posted the first ever video with Judy Lou Who ever, so I'll leave that linked in probably a pinned comment down below if you want to go get some pure nostalgia vibes. I've come so far since then. I was living in a studio apartment back then, and Judy has truly made like a profound impact on my life, my mental health, my overall enjoyment of life. She gives me a reason to wake up every day and I love her so much and I know you all do too so give some love to Miss Judy Lou Who in the comments. And I also posted pictures of her on like all of my social media today so if you want to just see some cute pictures of Judy Lou Who you can go check those out as well. What we're here to do today is to talk about the one, the only Amberlynn Reed. Girly has continued her little vlogmas situation type of deal although I will say and I've seen some of you say this as well Every day feels like she's inching closer and closer and closer to not completing Vlogmas, which it is about that time of the year <laughs> where she she drops off. She always drops off around or right before December 21st. And if y'all don't know, YouTubers get paid on the 21st of each month. But everybody always speculates that she's like, oh, I've done what I need to do to get paid this month. I'm done. And that's actually not really how it works because when we get paid on December 21st, we're getting paid for what we made in November. So it really doesn't make sense to me if you're trying to capitalize on the December months and the AdSense months that you would just stop posting around that time because you'll be making all of that money for December and January. That's when you'll get the check. So either way, that is usually when she somehow drops off. So we'll see if she makes it through. But Otherwise, what I'm going to do is quickly, very quickly recap the video that I didn't cover and then we're going to talk about a community tab post and then I'm going to react to today's video. So all of those things will be time stamped in the little doobly doo down below and you should be able to click to wherever you want to go if you want to skip around. Uh, I love that for you. So Vlogmas Day 13, okay, that's where we're going to get started and the name of this video video in particular was trying on new clothes, haven't brushed hair in two weeks, and cookie decorating contest tree vlogmas day 13. And honestly, I really actually don't have a lot to recap about this. <laughs> she got a whole shit ton of mini brands from Wifey, which y'all know I do secretly kind of love, but it was like an overload surplus of mini brands, you know? Amberlynn was a little bit concerned that she's gonna get addicted to them. Well, she has a shit ton now. <laughs> she sure does. She also does this weird clarification of wifey not being a feeder. Back to the feeder topic here. Oh, back to it? Feline is not like that. I wanna lose weight a lot, yes. She wants me to lose weight a lot, yes, as well. People think that she's a feeder because she's with someone who is this size. She's able to see beauty beyond what society sees. People think I'm a feeder? <laughs> Did I just break that news to you? <laughs> yes, baby. Yes, I am a feeder. No, she just sees beauty beyond what society sees and you guys don't see like the full story behind closed doors. So you guys can continue, but why do, okay. These are mini brands. I don't need to explain myself anymore. Which honestly, truly, like, I <laughs> was just having this conversation with some of my gay friends this past weekend. Like, there are people who do, who are attracted to just, like, plus-size people without wanting 
to like feed them and have them gain weight. There definitely is a, a community of people where there are feeders and growers and like they're trying to make the other one gain weight. But I think it's sometimes a little bit more nuanced than what the Amberlynn Reed community <laughs> makes it. Although, you know, based on how often Wifey is going out and getting fast food and uh, supporting or enabling other habits related to food in Amberlynn, like I could see why that's where people go. But there are lots of people out there who just like plus size people. We see her do another Poke Bowl, which this is like day 12. 13 in a row of ordering takeout every day and based on what's coming up in the video we're gonna watch today based on the title it looks like there's even more takeout so we're just vlogmas here's what it's been so far takeout toys takeout and toys and, and more toys. <laughs> like that's that's basically what Vlogmas has been about. She tries on all of the torrid clothing that's just been sitting on her couch in her living room since she hauled it to begin with, which was whatever. I actually thought some of the looks were cute, so I don't know, I don't have anything to add to that. Not all of them were cute, but some of them were. And a big chunk of this video is just about this cookie decorating contest where Amberlynn makes a point to say, oh, I don't eat these kinds of things. They're just for arts and crafts and then follows it up by the end of the video eating the cookies. I kind of want to take a bite of the cookie with icing. Go for it. This is very feeder vibes. Oh my God. <laughs> Remember that cookie? With what hand? Oh, did I get some of my nipple? I hope so. Baby. What color? Let's go with the, a green moment. I love how I just said that I don't eat this stuff and I'm literally about to try it. Just a little dollop? Yeah. Okay. And for the record, I'm pretty sure in that Instagram poll, I voted for Amber Lens as well. Uh, mostly because I just, there was one of wifey's that just looked like sloppy and like it was put together in a rush and I felt like Air Berlin's were much more well-rounded and the three of them as a whole looked better. And the only other thing of interest is that Air Berlin wants to clarify that yes she does wash her hair but no she doesn't brush it. I see comments because I try to read some here and there and people are like day 12 of Air Berlin not washing her hair and I'm like I literally just washed it two days ago. I literally just washed my hair two days ago. I'm just always wearing it like this. I'm gonna be honest, I haven't brushed it in a couple weeks, but I wash it every three to four days. Um, and lately, people have been just saying a lot of things about my hair, which I don't know why. So I've slowly started washing it every three to two days. So leave her alone, you guys. <laughs> she has clean hair, it's just a ratty mess because she doesn't brush it. Leave her alone. And that was pretty much the the gist of that video, or at least what I took from it. Now she did also in the middle of the night one night post this community tab post that I think is fascinating to me that she even, uh, uh, I don't know. I'll read it to you and then I'll give you my thoughts, okay? <laughs> All right. So the community tab post goes as follows. Genuine question, and please do not gaslight me and turn this into something about me. Right Right now, this isn't about me. Just for a single minute, step outside of yourself and this community. Why is it okay for certain reaction channels to say negative things about my body, make snide jokes about my weight, make low-key fat jokes, etc., and do not invalidate this question by saying that they don't do that because they do. Not all of them, but some do. I see it, I hear it, I feel it. I am the one who gets to decide if something hurts me or not. No one else. I'm simply asking, why do they get away with it? Which is interesting because she, I guess here's where my thoughts start. She starts this saying, this isn't about me, but clearly the post is about her and, and what people have to say about her. And I think I understand what she's trying to say, but again, communication Len can't articulate that 
in general. What I think she's trying to say is that, you know, if it wasn't Amber Lynn, if it, if she was not the person, okay, if, if we were talking about any other plus size YouTuber, because you know she loves to compare herself to others when it benefits her, right? She's saying if it was anybody else, wouldn't, like, this would not be acceptable. But how it comes across is she's saying, you guys, this isn't about me, and then proceeds to talk about herself. So, I know. I don't, she, you know, she just makes things very confusing, like very, very silly. But what I do want to say, and the only other takeaway I think I really have about this community tab post, is she just recently on an Instagram Q&A, when she was on her, in her little car ride to the, the cave in Louisville, okay, she did a Q&A and she said, I don't watch reaction channels anymore, it's for my mental health. And I said, brava! Bravo! Bravissimo! Yes! Good for you, Amberlynn! Why are you watching them? Why, why do you even know what these people are saying if you're allegedly not watching them? What? <laughs> And listen, y'all know, I don't, I don't say any of those things. The least interesting thing about Amber Lynn Reed to me is that she's fat. And I've also said, like, I have struggled with my weight at different times in my life. I come from a family of fat people. I have fat friends, like, and like being fat is something that I very much identify with and have had use against me in the past. And so I don't say those things about Amber Lynn. And I don't think those things are appropriate. With that being said, how do you also know that those people are being held accountable for it? because I I very much don't agree with it, stand for it, and don't think it's appropriate. And I would hope the people who watch me would agree as well. So anyways, I don't know. Also, just do what you said you were going to do and not watch the reaction channels, Bestie. That's, that's also all I really have to say. Does that all make sense? Are we all on the same page? I think so. That's the recap. You got the, the recap of Vlogmas Day 13, and you got a little community tab post reading from me. So let's get into today's video, which is called trying on new clothes which she just did that yesterday what the fuck okay trying on new clothes oh wait oh i'm reading the <laughs> you know why she just did that yesterday i was reading the title from yesterday's video jesus christ zachary okay <laughs> today's video i'm losing it literally have you all seen the panera bread tiktok with the the girl who's drinking the caffeine drink and didn't realize how much caffeine it had in it i was saying on twitter i was going back and forth with charlie gold about how like wouldn't it be crazy if i did one of those video like one of these videos while i was drinking that drink and like i'm already crazy without that much caffeine although i have had coffee today already but i'm already crazy without that like could you imagine me drinking like three of those and then filming an Amberlynn Reed reaction. Maybe we'll do that. Maybe I'll get some Uber Eats. I'll Uber Eats my drinks like Amberlynn always does and then film a, a reaction to one day of Vlogmas. But anyways, oh gosh, how are we? I calm down. Today's video is called Clean My Bathroom With Me, Shopping on Amazon, and Indian Food, Tree Vlogmas Day 14. And I have to say, going into this, I was kind of hoping we would actually get the vlogging things I've never vlogged before or I don't normally vlog, but we've seen her clean her bathroom. We know she loves to shop on Amazon, and uh, I've seen her eat Indian food multiple times, uh, along with just various other takeouts, so... Uh, I don't, I guess today's not the day, but let's get to, let's get to, shall we? Hey guys, welcome to Vlogmas Hi. Day 14. Jingle bell, jingle bell. <laughs> Sing for me, baby. Baby. <laughs> baby. <laughs> sitting here trying to decide which pair of earrings to wear so I have two options and I'm also actually highly frustrated because if you remember I sent my friend a <gasps> bunch of gifts that I do you said it cost like four hundred dollars that was very pricey in shipping for some reason did you wait did did you get did you get insurance on it like shipping insurance bestie tell me you got shipping insurance um internationally uh-huh and it was four boxes and she only received one two of them say they were delivered but she doesn't have them while another one says that the package is available for pickup so pretty much out of four packages she only has one ah! 
I, girl, pink sparkles, girl. You better, you got that ring, that ring on your, on your, on your house. So you could, I really think it's going to be pink sparkles, by the way. That's who I'm guessing this little gift exchange collab is with. But does she have a little ring to see if somebody maybe came and stole her packages? Either way, did you get, did you get insurance on these packages? That's a lot of money to be out. And three of them are missing currently. So I'm like really stressed out about it. Don't and stress. It has I mean, ruined my day. I under I understand why you would be stressed, but it's gonna be okay. I promise. I promise. It, it's gonna probably be okay. So I'm hoping you know for some better news. Um, she's gonna call her post office, Please. and I've been just like looking at the tracking and the details regarding around the packages, uh -huh. but. There's not many details that I have, so. All right, so it's either. Well, either. I need y'all to figure it out because I have been, ever since I reacted to that video of Pink Sparkles, I have been patiently waiting for what I believe to be the collab of the year between Pink Sparkles and Amberlynn Reed. And I will, if they each do like a little gift exchange opening, I will react to Pink Sparkles opening up Amberlynn's gift, if that's something that happens. Green. Which I've never worn before. I don't but like, I like it. I really, really love them. I know. It's a closer look. <laughs> Which is fine. We don't have to have the same taste. Guys, this is what they look like. I, I think they're so I pretty. think, actually, my problem is this particular... I don't know if you can see my cursor on the screen recording, but my problem is this particular ring. It just... The vibe is off. She's messing up the vibes. It's The vibe is not vibing. So either these ones or hoops. Get a big old hoop. Are just probably my favorite kind of earring, but I it's like that's all I ever wear. That's I mean, I feel like I wear them the most. Not I was like, that's like, not all you ever wear, bestie. Not all that I ever wear, let's be real. Which ones look just the best? Just do a hoop. Do the hoop. Do the hoop. Please. A? Hoop. 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 B. Hoop. 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 I'm probably going with the hoops. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Baby. Baby. Clean. Did that. Wow. Wait, I want to draw a tree. Okay, I will say. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Yeah, because I'm in a bad mood. Oh, oh. It's an aggressive I do, tree. Okay. I don't love, um, I don't love. I don't love the sound of chalk, but that's a better tree than she's been making. She had a tree on one of her Christmas cookies and a tr Play Doh tree, and both of them did not look like trees really at all, but that looks a little bit better, like a little closer to a Christmas tree. That says clean microwave, by the way. You better do it. There's my tree, folks. Vlogging is day 14. Alrighty, gift time, babies. Oh, Someone baby. Smile. Okay, I'm ready. All right. Baby. You like said gift. Alonzo only gives so far. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Baby! <laughs> I don't remember what this is. Ooh, wifey. <laughs> Look at the drip on wifey right now. Okay, okay, fashion. Oh, yeah. What is this? What is it? I'm not going to tell you. What is it? You thought you needed more scissors? Is this like some giant blanket hoodie situation? Doesn't she already have something like this? Didn't, well, wait, let me see it first. But I feel like it's like gonna be one of those huge oversized hoodies that's supposed to feel like a blanket. <laughs> oh yeah! <laughs> wait, I love this color. It's another one of those. Yeah. What? Puppies. Why am I so smart? How did I know? She's, oh, she's changing. She's about to get in it. Okay. If you guys remember, I surprised her. I do. It's been months and months and months. It, it, it's this not been that long. Really big, oversized sweater. It was black and white, but it's been washed a few times. And when you wash it, it kind of loses that softness. So I decided to get one of her. Favorite colors. Sure. That's one of your favorite colors. What? Right, baby? Gray? <laughs> what? Gray? Yes, baby. <laughs> you can't. Baby. One of her favorite baby, colors. Baby, don't you love gray? 
baby. Is it gray one of your favorite colors? Yes, baby, it is. Slurs in the same thing, because it's like getting cold out. Look. Show me. It's so comfy cozy. Wow. So you like it, baby? Or is that green? <laughs> Maybe that's <laughs> green. Like a like a light hunter green or something. I don't know. It looks gray, but it also could look green. And green would make more sense as a favorite color. Nancy Drews of the world, let me know down below. What what color do you think that is? <laughs> yeah. Remember we kept finding random pockets? Also, though, fascinating that you would repurchase something that uh, lo lost its appeal after, like, a few washes, you know? Like, couldn't be me. It's in the pockets. Extra pockets in the pockets. Wifey, what, what are, you, are doing? you doing? What are you doing? I'm, I'm leaving all that in. <laughs> I just hope you know. I just hope you know. Are we finally gonna color this thing? <laughs> Let's put that down. Can we start coloring this thing? Baby. Okay. It's gonna be fucking Christmas Day, and that's gonna all be blank. No color. <laughs> Wait, is it? <laughs> Wait, baby. 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 <laughs> baby. <laughs> What am I watching? Move to the right. What am I watching? Wait, okay. I just Wait. What like what is what is the point of this? <laughs> what's what's the point of this segment? I mean, I guess it's funny to 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 watch April Lynn like make herself a house, I guess. Oh my god. It's hard to breathe in here. Wait, is there another window back here? Yeah. Are you taking my roof off? <laughs> no? What are you doing with my roof? Oh my god! <laughs> the squealing. Wait, tell me this isn't And this is where we have ended up. Tell me this wouldn't be a phenomenal Halloween costume. Well, where are you going? Where are you going in this Halloween costume? Like, maybe if you color it finely. <laughs> hey, back off! <laughs> back off, haters. <laughs> what is the point? <laughs> Why are we doing this? You're killing it, babe. <laughs> what, what are you doing? She really said, I gotta fill some time. I've been I've been putting out these 20 minute long vlogs. I have to fill the time with something. Watch me dance inside of a cardboard box house. I can't talk. <laughs> wifey! Wifey, get out of here! Wait, can we put her back together? I feel bad. Yeah, you can ruin my architecture. How did my head go through the roof? Girl, it's cardboard. I, don't know how you did it, babe. I meant to go through the window. Such a quirky girl. <laughs> All right. Okay. Wait, right. I'm not coming back. Wait, 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 Yesterday when I had the competition with yeah. the bean, the sweater competition. Yeah, you can see that you can see the the tree I was talking about. But I did vote for this altogether, so I guess I can't talk too much shit about that tree because I I voted and said it was better. I think this was the one up here in the the top right on Wifey's that I was like, I don't know, it seems kind of like rushed and sloppily put together. I just thought Amber Lens was the better package overall. It is still 19% to 81%. I wow. don't get it. 
But it hasn't changed. Girl, you, you said yourself, you're creative. You're talented. You're gifted. That's your that's your blessing, is that you know how to decorate a cookie. Now, this is how many votes. I've gotten almost 6,000. She's gotten almost 1,500. Wow. Do you guys not see her cute little jacket? Yeah, pe that. people don't like jacket. it. It's so cute. People, people don't like it. That's fine. People like yours better. Just let it be. Okay, so it is dinner time. I am having birani. Uh. Um, this is the veggie birani. It's basmati <laughs> rice with tons of Indian seasonings. The way she didn't say any of those words <laughs> correctly. She didn't say none of, the, none of those words right. And uh, God bless her. With some paneer. Which is just I, a cheese cube. I do love paneer, though. Mmm. I do love paneer. And we have cauliflower and broccoli. Ugh, stunning. Uh, I could go for some Indian food, but I just got groceries, which means I don't need to order takeout. Because, honestly, last night, Noel went to dinner uh, with people from his office for, like, a holiday dinner party thing. And I was like, well, if Noel gets to eat out, I should get to eat out. And then I just ordered Chipotle. I'm pretty sure he had something way nicer than what I had. But that Chipotle burrito besties, she was good. She was she was doing what needed to be done last night, okay? It's so good. It comes with this white sauce. What's this called again, baby? Mm. No idea. <laughs> but we eat it. Okay. And you can put it on top. Like this. I like to just do a little bit at a time and then take a bite from where I poured it. I just, I guess I just wonder. I guess, I guess I just wonder, like, what goes through Wifey's mind or, like, really any of the past girlfriends? Like, what are the conversations that are happening where it's, like, you get on board to, like, support Amberlynn and whatever diet it is she's doing at the time, you know? Like, it was keto. Allegedly, right now, we're doing Weight Watchers, although she hasn't really talked about it in depth. And then, and then all of a sudden, Amberlynn's like, I want to go back to just getting takeout ever. Every day. Like, what does that conversation look like? Because a lot of people are like, for all of Amberlynn's girlfriends, right, at different points have talked about how they've enabled her and things like that. And I just have to, I just have to believe that Amberlynn also doesn't make it easy, you know? Like, I, I said that for, for Becky, at least I think I talked about that whenever people would say that about Becky. And, you know, I think it's like a combination of responsibilities, right? Like, especially when it's like, wifey or Becky or whoever going out and driving to pick up food. But these days, Amber Lynn can just pick up her phone and Uber Eats it anyways on her own. And so I'm just like, what do those conversations look like? Like, is it just easier for wifey to be like, I'm not going to argue with you about this anymore. We're, we're getting, we're getting takeout. Sure. If that's what you want, I'm not going to argue with you. Uh, I, I just, I, I wonder, I just am curious what those conversations look like. Okay, so I'm currently on Amazon and uh -huh. I need a new laundry basket. So these are the so, few that I have pulled up. So you obviously have to, to get one that says laundry on it so you know what it's for. That trend is so annoying and I thought she had kind of left it behind. She was living her Ray Dunn best life, getting all the things that said what they were on it. I just don't understand why I need something to tell me that this is where the laundry's at. I have this one, which I like because it's skinny, so I feel like it Ooh, wouldn't take up skinny a skinny legend. Space. Skinny queen. I do like this one. That's I cuter. I like the fact that it comes with two. I That's don't really cuter. care for the colors. Not too much, but that doesn't really matter. But I do like that it comes with two because I like to be able to have the option of having clean clothes in a basket instead Why? of sitting on my sink. Oh, I see. Away. Well, you could just you could just fold them and put them away immediately, which to be fair, I also struggle with sometimes depending on what's going on in my life, but you could just fold them and put them away immediately. And then I saw this one. Oh, I, I like this. I love this one. Let's do that one. But it just I don't know, it doesn't really go with my decor. I, I'm but sure it'll it be fine. Option. And then no. I have this one pulled no. up, and there is other colors. How, to get this how, one. how do these... Well, actually, the words would go with her decor. Get the one with the words. If, if it going with your decor is what matters, get it. It would probably be in black or, like, one of the grays. I don't know... I don't know, folks. It's ugly. Honestly, be it's ugly. That one's cute. A new Those are cute. Laundry basket no. Off of Amazon. That has wheels, Tonight. though. So I'll receive it in a few days, so you guys will see which one I get. 
But I can't fucking which wait. Which one do you guys think I should get? Or which one do you hope I should get? I, that one. Do any of you have these? No. Little laundry basket shopping? Sure don't. Hurt nobody? All right, so I'm going to be doing a little bathroom cupboard cleaning. Cupboards? This is the cupboards? Mess I have to work with. I just feel like it's super cluttered. It doesn't really have a rhyme or reason. It sure so doesn't. I definitely need to go through it all. We have some room sprays. We, some we, we have watched her organize this particular cupboard before. I've seen her do this because I remember her being like, here's all my room sprays. Here's all this. Here's all that. We've watched her do this before. Next. Okay. So I have oh, a mess my God. starting on my sink <laughs> of all the stuff that was in here besides the she hand said, soap, which I'm She said, we're going to replace Torrid Mountain with Bathroom Cupboard Mountain. I'm just going to leave. She's empty now. All righty. So well, I damn. finished. How long I do you have... think, though, that it'll stay like this, Bestie? Because, I, like I said, I remember you doing this once before. I have a kitty cat spying on me, sniffing around. So an update on... Oh, God, this fucking book. <laughs> These books. These books. These books. I just don't care. I just... Y'all know, even back in the day when she was trying to do the book club, whatever, whoever, I usually skipped all that stuff. So if you're looking for the book content, you're probably not going to find it on my channel. I, I probably won't have a lot to say about whatever she's about to say. Celeste, the Gemini series by V. C. Andrews. I just can't bring myself to read. How do you guys get out of reading slumps? Please leave me suggestions down below because this reading slump is no Oh, problem. oh, well then I do have something to say because this is just another example of her update being about nothing. Her update is that she still hasn't done shit. She's done jack diddly squat. <laughs> She's done nothing. She hasn't read any more of it. Perfect, perfect. Great, great, great. Sure, 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 sure. Day 14. Love Play Doh. Some yellow with. What is that? Um, are those ooh, supposed to be okay. gifts? I think these are presents. Those are presents. Yeah, this is supposed to be a present mold. So I think for this one, I'm literally just going to use what they gave me and call it a, call it a day because. Oh. The, the queen of creativity is just going to do what they say to do? Disappointed. I deserve better. We deserve better. Collectively, your audience wants to see your creativity shine, bestie. Being honest, I had an anxiety attack a little bit ago. Okay, that's fine. And I just... Uh, that's fair. I'm not doing very good No after worries. It. Um, I'm, not, I'm not actually mad. <laughs> I'm not actually mad. Take your time, bestie. Um, there have been moments where I'm able to kind of cheer up eventually after an anxiety attack, but as of right now, I uh, kind of can't get out of it for Vlogmas. I do not want to fail you guys, but what is this? What is this? This does not look like a gift. So let me try something. I know what I'm about to make. Oh. It's not Christmassy. Oh, but we are going to get creative. Okay. Okay, girly. Oh, bless you. The kitty cat just sneezed. What I'm about to make is not Christmassy at all, but that is okay. I mean, it can be. A heart is love. Oh. Stunning. Christmas is filled with love. So Just true. Remember to be kind to people. So true, bestie. This heart, beautiful. This heart, a work of art. I love it. And... Just remember, everyone has a story, and you never know what they're going through. It's true. More happiness and peace, please. Yes. Peace so on earth and goodwill to all, or whatever that Christmas thing says. Song? Is that a song? Or is that, like, from a movie? <laughs> I don't know. Y'all know I'm the Christmas Grinch. I don't, I don't really keep up with shit like that. Away. My Play-Doh, but I wanted to give you guys an update not, on the scratchers. Not more I scratchers. That I'm just going to keep these winnings, taking these off. Oh, oh, she said, I'm cutting my losses. I'm going to keep these winnings. I'm I'm tired of the accusations that I'm addicted to gambling. I'm going to I'm gonna end it right here, which also she had those Buddy the Elf 
scratchers, and I'm going tonight to see Elf the Musical. It has been a little bit of a time since I spoke to you guys. I'm feeling a little bit better. Okay, we're going to do this taste test. No. So they look like Why? dog treats, or it sounds like something that would be a dog treat. Right. I promise you it's not because I literally had to Google it because I was like, um, it is. Girl, <laughs> you had to Google whether or not that was a dog treat, bestie. Surely you purchased these to begin with. Why would you buy it if you thought it was a dog treat? Chewy banana bites. Um, literally all it is is banana, which somehow they made chewy and peanut butter, which doesn't sound too bad, but me and bananas were still trying to find a common ground. Like, I used to hate bananas when I was younger. She, she was literally just talking about how much she likes bananas again when she was eating that banana ice cream the other day. Like, what the actual fuck, girly? <laughs> I just, like, can't, can't keep up with whether or not she does or doesn't like bananas. I just don't understand. But now that I am older... I do like them, but I only like them at a certain ripeness. I like it when it's like actually ripe, not when it's yellow or anything like that. I like it a little bit of uh, bruised up, if you will. So. Oh my see. God. I'm actually so nervous right now. Smells like exactly what you'd expect. This is what it's like in the bag. Then why did you scrunch up your face like it was disgusting? If it's exactly what I would expect, I'm sure it smells like peanut butter and banana. This is what they look like. This is so dramatic. Just eat it. Just try it. I don't Does she like it? Oh, she likes it. She likes it. She likes it. Yeah. She, she loves it. Woo. This literally tastes like a smoothie. Wow. In the past. Wow. Wow, these are so good. Hello. Okay, so it is comment of the <sighs> day. Thank God. We made it to comment of the day. This is almost over. I actually saw... <laughs> end it, end it, end it. You remember when she got so mad that I was like, end your video, just end the video. <laughs> I, listen, I've been having fun. I've been having fun during Vlogmas. Don't get it twisted. Just because I'm occasionally like, what is going on here? I've been having fun. Part of the show that I've been hearing a lot about it's on HBO Max. It's called White Lotus. Oh, and I'm I fucking love White Lotus. Sorry, I, I don't know what she said prior to this because I was obviously talking over her. But White Lotus, it's like, I love just watching rich white people be rich white people and have all the problems of rich white people. You know what I'm saying? Like, th them just doing their, their nonsense. Ah, uh, those two shows are so good. And y'all know I'm a Survivor fan. And Mike White, who, like, created the show, is a writer on the show, everything like that. He was on Survivor back in the day. And he has two of his tribe mates, two of his castmates from Survivor in season two of White Lotus. Just so you know, I love it. And I'm obsessed. It's like, all I've been able to think about, uh, and I'm so sad that it's over. I don't know what I'm going to do with my life. I guess react to more Amberlynn Reed and wait patiently for 1,000 Pound Sisters to come back. Uh, but yeah, here we are. <laughs> I'm only like literally 15 minutes the first episode, and I love it. Oh, good. So I'm pretty pumped. Great. But back to comment of the day here. The budgeting bee. Can you stop with the nine times out of 10 crap? You have no idea what you're talking about and saying this doesn't add credibility to anything you say. What? Thank you, the budgeting bee. Um, I think I'm like trying to think about what this person's even talking about. I guess she does sometimes say like nine times out of 10, I'm going to do this or that or the other. I don't, but I don't, that's never bothered me personally. I guess say it out of habit when I like something. Sure. So I can try to stop saying it as much. I but mean, I feel like say what you want to say. Nobody, so it's not going to be that's so true. priority. That's so true. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this Vlogmas, and I will see I did. you guys tomorrow. I guess. Bye. Beep, beep, boop. Beep, beep, boop. Boop, boop. You know, one of the reasons I did appreciate this Vlogmas is because even with that comment of the day, it felt like the first time...
during Vlogmas, and this is probably maybe not accurate. <laughs> like, there's probably another video where she didn't do it. But this particular video, like, she didn't really complain about the haters too much. And I appreciate that. Like, I, I would like to see more of that. I would like to talk less about the things that your haters don't like. Granted, she did just have that community post that I read at the beginning of this video, but I appreciate that she didn't do too much complaining. You know, you feel me? You feel me now, Mr. Krabs? Good, good. Anyways, everybody, that is all I have time for today. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. If you did and you're brand new to my channel, make sure to subscribe down below and hit the bell button so you get notifications every single time I post a new video. Also, make sure to leave me a comment, hit like, click share, and follow me on all my social media. I had so much fun with you all today. I hope you did too, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!